What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Unova Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through uh, well, a small amount right here in Celadon City. We got to capture another legendary Pokemon and a few other legendary Pokemon, or not a few other legendary Pokemon, but a few other Pokemon. And, well, let's see. Yes, the revolving door of our team has changed again because, yes, we are, well, we switched up a few players on our team. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if I could press this button correctly, say hello to Deerling right here. Look at this Pokemon, both normal and grass. Does have a nice amount of uh, attacks right here that I can use. Then we got Spoon. If you guys don't know who that is, that is uh, Electric, I think that's what it's called. Uh, fuck, I can't remember what his name was, but we called him Spoon, mainly because of the cartoon The Tick. Usually says Spoon and all that stuff. And it is both bug and electric type. And then, well, it was a hard decision between Rufflet and Volibi, but I guess since I already have a dark type Pokemon, I should take Rufflet for the time being because look at that guy. It's attack, it's pretty good. Defense is all right, but you know what? We are going to make do with what we got right here. Again, we're going to be switching up our Pokemon. And, well, we got to, uh, yeah, we got to heal our Pokemon right here because we got a mission to do. And that mission happens to be Team Rocket in all its not so much glory and whatnot because, eh, well, you know, we need to uh, save a few people, get a few things, that kind of stuff. Now, eventually I will be getting some new Pokemon uh, from the Celadon department. There are two, maybe three Pokemon that I would love to get. And, well, let's see, what am I doing? Okay, yeah, I was thinking of going to the gym, but no, we're going to wait on that until after this whole Team Rocket stuff. Now, I've been here plenty of times, guys. Lots and lots of times. And, well, it, it's usually it's, it's, it's the same thing every single time. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to be switching up our Pokemon. Let's go right ahead and go with Spoon. That way we can start getting some experience points for our Pokemon right here. So let's see. I'm guarding this poster. Go away or else. Not so menacing, but it is what it is right there. So... Here we go, going up against uh, Rocket, and well, he's coming out with his watch dog. Look at this guy, looks mean, he looks angry. Spoon, get ready for a Thunderbolt, and wow, <laughs> beats me to the punch, and well, he tried to do that whole th hypnosis again, and look at that, we got ourselves a nice Thunder Wave on him, and well, I am not going to mess with this guy, so let's go right ahead and switch him out. Let's go straight to Oinkinator here, since it is a fighting type Pokemon. Alrighty. Let's go. Fighting type Pokemon does not get, get, get affected by whatever he tried to attack me with, so here we go. Low kick for the win. This guy had no chance. And Spoon getting some experience points, and look at that. Oinkinator, level 32. And well, here comes a Woobat. Hmm. I do have this Pokemon right here, Spoon again. Okay, alrighty, Spoon, you got this. You are a Bug-type Pokemon. Now, in real-life Pokemon, this Pokemon is extremely small. You can't really see it. It's kind of scary, in a sense. Alrighty, okay, so let's go right ahead and switch it up right here again and go... Let's see, I kind of want to use Mudslide. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with Croc, Killer Croc. Okay, Killer Croc ready to go. And you are fully paralyzed, so now let's go ahead and go with the Crunch attack since Wubat is a psychic type Pokemon. And well, that's the end of that. And we defeated another rocket. Yes, okay, and he's like, dang. Our hideout might have been discovered. I better tell the boss. It probably is the truth. It probably is. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go to the usual, you know, button right here. Press that and bam. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take care of business right here with Team Rocket now. Let's see. What do we got? Oh, yeah. Spoon is somewhat going to battle right here, but we're going to just use him for uh, experience points, paralysis, and all that stuff. We're taking out our anger towards everybody because we've been paralyzed way too many times, and here comes a Solosis. And, well, right off the bat, we can actually take on this guy with a Leech Life right here. And yes, it is super effective. Okay, and well, it's going to be going with the Reflect right here, which is okay. I mean, it gains a little bit of defense, but here we go. Another Leech Life. We're just sucking up the energy right here. And here comes a Psy Wave. Holy crud. 
And that right there nearly takes us out. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it. So let's go ahead and go to, uh, to Kill a Croc right here. And, well, let's see what we got. Light screen. Yeah, this Pokemon is trying to buff, its, uh, buff, uh, buff up its defenses. Can't even say that correctly. And, well, there we go. Crunch for the win. Spoon getting some experience points. And here we have a Scraggy. Hmm. Kind of want to use Spoon again. Again, if you haven't seen it, guys, go watch The Tick. The cartoon The Tick, you know, on Kids, uh, Fox Kids. Yeah, the old Fox Kids. That's where I got that little reference from. So let's go straight to Oinkinator right here. And, well, what's up? Oinkinator ready to kick some butt. Here comes a faint attack. Doesn't do much. Oh, wow. Really wanted to use low kick. Well, that isn't going to happen right there. And Scraggy. Well, it takes a huge amount of damage right there. So let's go. Low kick. Gets it going. And there we go. Say goodbye to Scraggy. And Spoon grows to level 17. Alrighty. Okay. So I've already changed up a lot of electric type Pokemon. Yeah, I still haven't gotten used to the one that I really want on my team. I mean, you know, it has a lot of Pokemon that you can actually choose from. And, well, so far, especially in freaking Pokemon, uh red version right here. I think this is red, yellow, slash, blue. Yeah, you, you just can't pick and choose and stuff. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take on this guy. He's like, you broke into our operations! Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Alright, so here we go. Taking on another rocket right here. He's coming out with his Wajog. Okay. Bring it on, Wajog. We're gonna switch out right here because I do not want any of that. So let's go straight to Deerling since it does have a double kick attack right here. And well, here comes Sand Attack. That doesn't do me well. And well, here comes the double kick. And so far it is not strong enough, but it's doing some damage. And well, we gotta go again. Double kick. There we go. Come on, Deerling. Nearly defeats this guy. And, well, that nearly gets us, but we just realized we had Faint Attack, which won't miss. And, well, there we go. Deerling kicking some butt, taking some names. Coming up with another Watchdog. Let's continue on right here with Deerling. And go with a Double Kick Attack. Look at that. You can be angry all you want, but still, I'm going to defeat you like I do. And there's another Sand Attack, which won't work, but it works finally this time. And, wow. Okay, so here comes the double kick. There we go. Watchog defeated. Alright, Deerling is uh, starting to come out to be a good addition to the team, which is good. Alright, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Now let's go ahead and give Rufflet a chance to actually battle again, guys. There's going to be lots of changes. Still not decided of what Pokemon I want to use and whatnot. And, well, here comes another guy wanting to challenge us. Bot says, or Bot says Ghost with, or you can see Ghost with oscilloscope. Yes, you can. Alrighty. Okay, so here we go, taking on a rocket. And we got ourselves a Woobat. So whose flying type Pokemon is better? Flying chicken or chicken of doom? Or the chicken of the cave or chicken of the outside? And that was a huge hit right there. Wasn't expecting that. So let's go again. Wing attack. Wing attack does it. Look at that. Okay, roughly just taking some names right here. And here comes a clink. So let's go straight for Oinkinator. Alrighty. Let's go, Oinkinator. Let's go, Oinkinator. Let's go with an Ember attack right here. And look at that. Clink has been defeated. Okay, and alrighty. So he's coming out with a Trubish. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Mudslide. Easy. We need some loving right there. We need some love. And of course, we need the air conditioner right here next to me. Because it's a little warm in here. So let's go straight for a Mud Shot. Still can't wait till I get Mudslide to evolve. And well, that speed has gone down. And wow, we are getting poisoned. This guy literally farted in our faces. That is ridiculous. Okay. And, well, let's see. He's coming out with a Woobat. Not going to risk it. Let's go straight to Killer Croc. Let's get a Killer Croc. Let's go Killer Croc. 
Kill a croc. Rodge attack. And there we go. Look at that. Okay. Okay, so we're doing we're, we're doing something. We're doing something good right here. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon yet again. Let's go straight to Oinkinator. And well, let's see what we got. Alright, here we go. Low kick. Ready for the win. And Watchog defeated. Okay. Alright. Okay, so our Pokemon have been I guess this combination this combination is doing pretty well right here, and wow, completely forgot about you, and balls, completely forgot uh, to buy some uh, antidotes, so I'll be right back with you guys, I need to go buy some repels, or antidotes, I'll be right back guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are back into the Team Rocket lair, and well, we got the antidotes, now it's time to complete this whole thing right here, now hopefully I do not, or hopefully I didn't bring a whole lot of, uh, well, yeah, hopefully I didn't bring a lot of items right here because it's around this time right here where I'm just kind of like, I'm kind of like full of filling up right here on my, in my, in my bag. And well, there we go. We got ourselves a moonstone and well, let's go ahead and get spinning right here. You, yeah, you see, there we go. We just got, got one too many items right here. And well, let's see, we got three items right here. Holy crud. And well, what do we don't need? Well, we definitely need that one. Paralysis heal. You know, something tells me this doesn't this doesn't need it right now. I don't see myself getting burned. And, well, I don't need a, an escape rope right here. So, that's that. And, well, we found ourselves a TM-07. Kind of feel like we don't need that item either. Oh, God. Alrighty. So, here we are spinning away again. And, well, let's see. What do we find? Really do love this layer right here, but the spinning has got to stop. And well, we got ourselves a nugget, which will actually help us with money. And well, let's see. There we go. Going right here. And let's go ahead and continue on right here. Okay, so probably chosen the wrong arrows, but it looks like we can make it somewhere around here. All right, right here. Going back. And well, let's go right here. Okay, so. Slowly but surely, we are making our way through this whole Team Rocket layer. Now, I'm going to go downstairs right here because I kind of feel like there's an item around here that we need to get. And, well, let's see, let's see. Come on. Really got to love the speed of this whole thing right here. It's kind of annoying. All right, so there's an item that we need. And, well, we're going to go to this arrow. And, not grabbing this. We found ourselves a super potion. And, well, let's go right ahead and move out. Okay, alrighty. Let's get the heck out of here. Go right here. And, yes, okay, so... I guess... I guess we're doing a fine job just, you know, of, you know, getting our Pokemon team together. I mean, we've been, we've been making a lot of switches, guys. Trust me. There are so many Pokemon I want to use, but... God, there's only a limited amount of trainers here, especially with... When you can't rematch anybody, it's just so goddamn tempting. Alrighty, so let's see. Going upstairs, we're definitely gonna find some trainers right here. So here is homeboy number one. Why did you even come here? Because I need to save the Pokemon world. And you guys are making it difficult for me to actually progress right here. So here we go, going up against four Pokemon. And well, let's go straight for the Rufflet. And well, Rufflet has uh, shown to be a very strong Pokemon right here. Look at that. One hit KO. Yes, it is a very strong Pokemon. And, well, we're going to continue on right, right here with uh, Rufflet. So let's go straight for... Wow, getting a sand attack. And, yes, it definitely works against us. And, wow. Okay, so, yes, we're going to progress right here. And, yes, you use Bite, but it's not going to work. So here we go. Wing attack. Nearly defeats this guy, and here comes again. Oh, wow. God dang it. Yeah, I really, 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 really do not like it when... We oh, wow, we flinch? Dude, if we're going to flinch again, I'm going to be pissed. All right. God dang it. There we go. Eat a dick. All right, so let's go ahead and switch it out right here. Yeah, kind of uh, annoyed by that stuff. So let's go ahead, switching it out right here to Oinkinator. Oinkinator does his thing with a low kick. 
And a low kick does the trick. And well, let's see. It's gonna come with a hurt here, so let's continue on with Oinkinator. And let's just kick him right in the Narge right there. And boom. Okay, okay, okay. So there goes Herdier, and well, yeah, he, he's like, this won't do. Okay, so let's see. Got to take on another trainer right here. Get some items, and Jesus criminy. Yeah, paralysis heal. Yeah, this is getting ridiculous. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to get rid of like a few things right here. Yeah, fresh water. Let's just give that to Rufflet. We'll get another fresh water eventually, somewhere down the line, just to get to Saffron City, and... Well, let's see what this is. And we found ourselves a Hyper Potion. Well, ain't that great. Let's go ahead and switch our Pokemon right now. Let's see, let's go straight for Deerling. Give it a little more love, and this guy's like, Intruder Alert! Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Another Pokemon trainer by the name of Rocket. Coming with a Pharisee. Now this guy is both a Steel and Grass type, and this is a tough one because its defense is through the roof. Now, if this was the regular games, it would ha actually hurt you with barbed wire. And well, look at that, hitting us pretty hard. But it does have a nice weakness to fighting type moves. So we're just gonna spam the whole double kick attack, and look at that, super easy. There we go, and Deerling grows to level 23. And, well, let's see. He's going to come out with a Fungus. Let's go with Oinkinator. Let's continue this whole thing right here. And, well, I got to say, Fungus looks completely... It looks ugly. It looks really, really ugly. I, I, I'm not joking. And, well, there goes Fungus. Okay, alrighty. And, well, coming out with a Trubbish. Let's go straight for Killacroc. Mainly for its, uh, whatchamacallit, uh... You know, it's ground type capabilities, and well, let's see. Let's go straight for Mud Shot. Tell me if that works, and it does. Trubbish has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. And good old Draven saves the day again. He's like, I can't do it. Okay, so let's move on. There's nothing right here that we can actually find. Now we're going to have to go to the bottom, bottom floor, and well, let's see. We do have the fly technique. I just realized that. Yeah, I just realized that we got the HMO2 and we still haven't taught anybody that. So let's go give this to Rufflet. And, well, let's get rid of the whole peck attack right here. Alrighty, so that's taken care of. Now, it looks like to me I'm going to have to go straight back to the PC and get rid of a few items because, yes, we will be getting a lot more items, one being a rare candy. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so we're back, and I did, I, I did, uh, what was it, uh, deposit a few things, and, well, I sold the, I sold the nugget just for, you know, the money and all that stuff, so now, let's go ahead and continue right here, battling everybody we see, and as you can see, we got word from upstairs that you were coming! Yeah, well, I am coming. I am coming, and I am ready to kick some butt right here, so, here we go, Rocket wants the battle, he's coming out with Mudflap, or Timber. And, well, let's go right ahead and not take on this Pokemon with this Pokemon right here. And let's go straight for Rufflet. And, well, the Rufflet ready to go. And we're going to get hit with a low kick. Now, that was not very effective, but guess what? We got the fly attack. You're going to miss. And we're going to go straight for a fly attack. And that right there takes care of Timber. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Say goodbye to Timber right there. And he's coming out with a Scraggy, so let's continue on. And, well, here we go. Another fly attack. Rufflet is just monster right here. Look at that. Monster. Okay, alrighty. And, well, there it is. Level 24. And, well, we're definitely kicking some butt right here now. There, there is probably something in that. Yeah, there is an item right here. Let's see what it is. Found ourselves a TM10. Don't know what that is. So let's go right ahead and uh, figure that out right there. And, well, that's not going to work. Let's see. Double edge. Okay, so this move 
is a pretty darn good move when it comes to uh, hitting Pokemon, but there is some recoil damage. I'm going to save that for later on. And luckily for us, we can actually buy it over at the Saladon department store. And, well, let's go right here. And, well, let's see. We're going to go down here. And we're going to go up and grab this. And we found ourselves a rare candy. Trust me, guys, there's going to be plenty of rare candies. Once we get to the missing no uh, cheat, then everything will make sense. You know, just trying to get all these Pokemon right. And, well, let's see. Going down right here. Going up here. And, well, let's see. The maze right here. I can do this in my sleep mainly because I've played this. Well, I've played this so, so many times. It's just, you know, you can do it. You can literally do it without seeing anything. Now, yeah, we're just going to be battling this guy right now. And what does he have to say? Stop meddling in Team Rocket's affairs. Never. Okay, alrighty, so here we go, going up against another rocket. He's coming out with a bad rat. And uh, Deerling, ready to go, ready to kick some butt right here with a double kick. Okay, that's right, look at that, double kick for the win. And wow, okay, so Patrat has survived. And good thing for us, we got faint attack, so this one won't miss. And Patrat defeated. He's coming out with a watch jog, so. Let's go ahead and do this again. And go with a double kick. Come on. Finish him. Ah, jeez. Watch Jog looking like, uh, well, about to hypnosis me. And, well, we did it. Nearly defeat this guy with one hit, but you know, its defense is right there. So there we go. Dealing is dominating. So let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's go straight for... Yeah, let's go ahead and use Spoon. We haven't used this guy in a, in a while. All right, Spoon. Let's go with a Leech Life. And, well, there it is. Nice and strong. And a Light Screen is going to be uh, put up there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this again. And right now, it looks like Spoon is uh, actually doing well. But look at this. We got our Psy Wave on us. And okay, so that right there is uh, taking 7 HP, which is no problem whatsoever. And well, let's see. Let's see. Come on, let's do this again. There we go. And well, we're trying our best just to try and get this guy down, but he's not letting us win. So here we go again with another Leech Life. Who ever thought I would say that, you know, Leech Life is the reason why we won? And look at that. Spoon grows to level 18 and is learning acid. Alright, let's go ahead and switch that out. Um, yep. Let's go poison sting and let's go acid. Okay. Alrighty, okay. So, there we go. We defeated another person right there. And now our mission is to go find that key because we definitely need that key to get around this area. And, well, let's see. There's a Pokeball. Sure wish it was a Pokemon, but it's not. And we got the HP up. And, well, let's see. Let's go right up ahead and see what is up here. And, well, we got the same usual guy. And we got the TMO2. I believe that is Sky Attack. I would say it's Sky Attack. Let's see. Razor Wind. Okay. Yeah, we can also buy that. We can also buy that in the department store right there. So. Let's go ahead and teach uh, Rooflet these uh, Razor Wind. Replace that with that. Razor Wind, of course, is not a traditional uh, flying type move, so shouldn't worry about that. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's go ahead and take out this guy. And he's like, the elevator doesn't work? Who has the lift key? Okay. All right, Buster. Let's see what you got. Mm-hmm. And this is the first time. This is a vanilla light. A vanillite and I just realized oh wait you know what double kick we are taking a risk because vanilla is a uh, an ice type Pokemon and look at that and here comes a mist attack okay let's go ahead and do this again and vanillite defeated and well let's see coming out with a Gothita I guess I should uh, go straight to kill a croc right here 
don't want to mess with freaking, uh, you know, a psychic type Pokemon. We actually thought for one moment that Gothita would be a Pokemon that we could use as a, as a teammate. I mean, I thought so a few episodes ago, but that right there didn't really work out. We actually traded that Gothita for something else, I think. And, well, as you can see, he does drop the lift key, which is good. And now it's time to... Oh, yeah, it's time to move on right here. Let's go straight up here. And, well, let's see. Let's go right up here. And so far, so good. We've been, uh... <laughs> All right, we, we've taken care of business right there. So now it is time for us to just get the heck out of here. And see what else we can actually find. Now, I think there's a few more, uh... Yeah, I think there's a few more items we can actually get. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, crud. All right, let's go right down here, and, well, right here, and look at that. Okay, so we're going to be going down here, and let's see. My prediction, like, I kind of have a feeling that we're going to find some kind of legendary Pokemon in here. I could be wrong. Uh, could be, you know, we could, we could find a legendary Pokemon right here. I don't even know. Yeah, I'm thinking no. Now, there is a legendary Pokemon that we could we could actually take on, or that we could uh, actually get through a trade, and that is Landris. Now, I don't know how that would one work, because uh, Thunderous and Tornadus are around here. And, well, let's go straight for the first one right here. And there we go. Now, a few episodes ago, I realized that, well, I was questioning what Pokemon we would be finding at the very end over at Cerulean Cave and I then just like I popped up in my head it was uh I think it would have to be what what you call it um what's his face uh Genesect because it is the only po only other Pokemon that was made uh well, that was man-made I believe so yeah that's uh oh wow so yeah that I'm thinking that would be it I could be wrong I know this is the first time I'm playing this game, and so far I'm actually enjoying this, and crud, come on. There we go. Really do hate behind attack. And yes, Deerling grows to level 24, and coming out with another Vanilla Light. Vanilla Light. Let's go again with a double kick. Alrighty, Deerling's kicking ass right here. And well, here comes a pound attack. Alright, so let's go straight for another double kick. And uh, there we go. We have defeated this guy. And, well, because of the impact of this battle, it will open up the door for a shortcut. So now it is time for us to actually go straight to the boss. I'm assuming it is uh, room two, I think. And, well. Mm, no, I was wrong. Okay, so probably room number four. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, so let's get this. And, well, let's see. Let's see what we got right here. Switch them out. Let's go straight for Mudslide this time. And, well, let's see. There are Pokemon trainers waiting for us right there. There might be an item right here, I think. Yes, there is. And we found ourselves in Iron. So now it is time for us to actually take on these, these two Team Rocket members. And, well, I know you. You ruined our plans at Mount Moon. Yes, I did. Okay, so bring it on. Alrighty, so here we go, going up against a sand dial, and well, I chose correctly, going with mudslide. So let's go straight for good gravy, a rage, and there we go. Look at that bubble beam, hits him pretty hard, and its rage is building, and its speed has fallen because of this bubble beam. So there we go, and well, let's see. We got another, we got a Purloin coming in, so let's go straight for Oinkinator. Bring it on, Oinkinator. I'm not too afraid of you. And, well, let's go straight for the low kick. Sweep the leg, Johnny. Sweep the leg. And, well, Purloin, no more. And we're going to be going against a Crocorock. So let's continue on right here with Oinkinator. And, well, let's see. Crocorock looks mean and all that stuff, but it's no match for my Pokemon right here. Look at that. 
And we get some experience points. Yes. We kicked, we kicked some ass. We took some names. I'm feeling good about that. Alrighty, okay. So that's one down. And now we gotta go with the other one right here. And he's like, how could you not see the beauty of our evil? Question is, how is there beauty in evil? I wanna know that. I don't know. So here we go, another rocket coming out with three Pokemon. And well, Mudslide is taking this one. Or is it? Well, let's go back to Oinkinator. All right, Oinkinator. Time to do it. And well, there comes a faint attack that doesn't really work. And well, let's go the legs, the leg sweep or leg kick, or the low kick, I should say. Mm-hmm. And well, let's see. Sandile coming back for more. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Mudslide. We need Mudslide to do his thing. And well, let's go with the bubble attack right here. And well, there's a bite. Good gravy. That's a strong Pokemon. There we go. And it nearly takes him out. And well, here comes a mud shot, which is not going to be effective. Nearly beats us. Oh wow, we survived with one HP. This Pokemon does love us and it grows to level 24. And here it comes out with a Lyford. So let's go straight for Crocorock. Alrighty, and look at this. Lyford looks a little scary. It looks a little bit down, but let's go straight for a mud shot right here. And that nearly takes care of Lyford. And well, trying to blind us with the Cyan attack, but here we go again. And there we go. Two down, more to go. Or one more to go. And because of that, we have uh, opened up the door right here. So let's go right ahead and heal our Pokemon right now. Let's see. Use Super Potion. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and use that Hyper Potion. There we go. Mudslide getting the full brunt of it. And, well, let's see. Let's go straight for a Super Potion. There we go. And let's give Rufflet something right here. And let's give one more Pokemon a Oinkinator right here. Alright, we're going to start off with uh, Mudslide right here because I have a feeling this guy has some ground type Pokemon that we need to battle. And he's like, so, I must say, I am impressed you got here. Okay. Alrighty, bring it on, homeboy. So here we go. Going up against Giovanni. And as predicted, he does have some ground type Pokemon. And, well, let's go ahead and use a Bubble Beam. And, yes, he's going to be using a Guard Spec. And look at that. Okay, so we take a lot of HP. Lowers his, uh, his speed and, well, gives us another opening for this attack right here. Mudslide's really kicking some butt. And, well, he's coming out with a Crocorock. 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 And there comes the, the Rage Attack. There we go. Rage attack doesn't really do much against us, and well, it's building, it's attacks going, but its speed has fallen, giving us another opening right there, and there we go, Crocrock defeated, Mudslide taking some W's right here, and well, he's coming out with a Buffalant. This is big right here, a Buffalant. I think it's time for, what was it, Oinkinator right here. Let's go straight for Oinkinator, and Buffalant is looking pretty beefy right there. Let's go with a low kick. There we go. And another guard spec for this guy. So let's go straight for a Seismic Toss. And there we go. Seismic Toss almost beats this guy. And here comes a Head Charge attack. Oh, wow. This is a new attack right here. And that right there gives him a recoil. He messed up himself. And we win. There goes Giovanni. And he's like, what? This cannot be. Or it can be. I see that you raise your Pokemon with the utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. And because of that, we get ourselves the Silscope, which will enable us to go straight to a Lavender Town and, well, take care of business there, which we probably will be doing in the next episode. I mean, we do have two options. Get a gym badge or go to Lavender Town. And to me, it kind of feels like we're going to be going to Lavender Town 
to uh, finish up any well to finish up everything over there there are two legendary Pokemon that we need to capture and now those are the weather genies and I kind of hoping to actually like you know get to them pretty soon right here I'm expecting they're gonna be very very tough to actually capture so yeah alrighty okay okay so that is pretty much it for this episode right here guys in the next one like I said we will be going straight to uh, Lavender Town and we're gonna be taking care of business there and then after that, hopefully, just hopefully, we're going to go straight to the Pokemon Gym in Celadon. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.